Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the current ratio, which is a common financial statement analysis that is conducted on companies um, specifically related to the company's liquidity. So let's take a look. Um, here I have my, my, my uh, uh, balance sheets for two separate companies. I have over here um, Weiss Markets Inc. I have over here Kroger Company. And we are going to calculate the current ratio for these companies. Now, um, current ratio, the name actually comes from the way it's calculated. Current ratio is the ratio of current assets to current liabilities. In other words, the short-term things that you expect to convert to cash within a year divided by the short-term debts you expect to pay in a year. And this is a liquidity ratio because it's essentially telling you how able are you, given your current assets, to pay off those current liabilities over the next year. Okay, so I'll write that up top real quick, liquidity ratio. Okay. Now, I've given you two companies here, so let's do the math for both companies. These are both grocers, so um, they're similar companies. They operate in the same industry. And remember, it's current assets over current liabilities. It's easy to calculate. If we look at the top of the balance sheet, of course, we have assets. The first section is current assets. And for Weiss Markets, total current assets was 508,292. And I'm just going to use that first year, 2019. So 508. 292, 508, and their current liabilities, if we look at liabilities, the very first section, total current liabilities is 291938, 291938. And I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy calculator real quick. Whoop. I have some old math on there. Let's see, 508292, whoops. 508292 divided by 2911938. Fumble fingers today. This comes out to approximately 1.74. Now let's check out Kroger. Again, we're going to look at assets. We're going to look at current assets and total current assets. And Kroger comes out to 10890. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and specify real quick that um, even though on the surface, uh, Kroger's number looks a lot smaller. Kroger's numbers are written in millions, whereas Weiss markets are written in thousands. So Kroger's number is, is actually bigger, even though it doesn't look it. Um, and then I'm also going to pull their current liabilities. So liabilities, current liabilities, total current liabilities, 14,243. And you can already see that there's gonna be a significant difference between these two companies simply because of how the current assets and current liabilities are uh, uh, related to each other magnitude-wise. So Kroger, 10,890, uh, sorry, not minus, divided by 14,243, comes out to approximately 0.7, if I round that generously, 0.77. So 0.77. All right, we have now calculated the current ratio of both companies. Now, what is this going to tell us? Well, remember, we said it's going to tell us the ability of the company to pay its debts in the short term. When we look at Weiss Markets, what this is telling us is they have 1.74 times the assets, current assets, than they do in liabilities. In other words, they could pay off those current debts not just once, but 1.74 times. Kroger, on the other hand, 0.77. Now, this is concerning because what this means is Kroger can pay off with its current assets only 0.77 of its current liabilities. In other words, it doesn't even have enough in its current assets to cover those current liabilities. And that's a concern. That means Kroger is going to have to take some action in order to pay those liabilities off as they come due. Maybe they'll make an arrangement to refinance. Maybe they'll raise some money in a different way to help pay it off, whatever the case may be. But this is how the uh, current ratio works. It tells you how able are you to pay off your current debts. The magic number to look for with this ratio is you want it to be greater or equal to one, right? Because a ratio of one means you can pay off your debts. Below one means you're gonna fall short and above one means you've got room to spare. And that's it for the current ratio named after its um, calculation current assets over current liabilities. All right.
right, hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for the next video.